My camera always produces images that are either dark or brighter than what I desire. That's why I use manual mode to set what I want. Is a very common statement photographers make. Alright, in this video, let's spend a couple of minutes to understand this trump card technique called exposure compensation and I'll tell you why I can't shoot a single day without using it. Welcome back folks, this is Jayant Sharma and we are grateful for your patronage and thanks for watching the Toehole TV. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, could you please do so? And hey, don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload videos. So here's a question for you. What are you more interested in? Making good images or making good images in a specific camera mode like let's say the manual mode? Please leave a comment below and help me understand what you think. If you ask me, I don't care what mode I use. I really only care about the end result. So I don't always shoot in the manual mode. If I analyze my photography, I seem to be shooting most of the times in aperture priority, sometimes with manual mode and sometimes with shutter priority and sometimes with manual mode using the auto ISO enabled. So let's say I'm shooting a silhouette of a Maasai warrior against the sky and the camera's exposure was not satisfactory. I don't have to go to the manual mode to make changes to the settings. Let's look at this picture shot at f6.3 on a Nikon D800E with a 16mm fisheye lens and the shutter speed was 1 by 400th of a second according to the camera's meter. What if I want the sky to be darker? I have to increase the shutter speed to control light and make less light get into the sensor thus darkening the shot. I'm sure you understand this right? So the easiest way I can do this is by using the exposure compensation feature of the camera by asking the camera to either underexpose or overexpose from where we are currently. Like in this example, if one by 400th of a second is the camera suggestion of the shutter speed and if I ask the camera to underexpose by one third stop or in other words, minus 0.3 stop, then the shutter speed would be one by 500th of a second. If I ask the camera to go two-thirds stop or in other words minus 0.7 then the shutter speed would be 1 by 6 40th of a second and finally if I want to underexpose a complete stop that's minus 1 then the time value will halve and the shutter speed will increase to 1 by 800th of a second from 1 by 400th of a second. This image was shot at minus 1 which was actually 1 by 800th of a second. In other words, we can say I exposure compensated by minus one stop. The reason it's called compensation is because you're overriding the camera's decision of one by 400 and forcing the camera to shoot with a faster shutter speed to darken the picture. That's at one by 800th of a second. Like I keep asking my googly question, if Irfan is shooting at f4 and 100 ISO and John is shooting at the same f4 and 400 ISO, whose picture would be brighter? Remember, they are shooting in aperture priority. Well, if you said John's shot is brighter because he's using higher ISO, then I'm afraid you're wrong. Because they are shooting in aperture priority mode, they will get the same brightness, though John may have a faster shutter speed due to the higher ISO. So if they need to make the shot darker or brighter, what are they supposed to do? Obviously, the answer is exposure compensation. By asking the camera to either do a minus one or plus one, the shutter speed increases or decreases and makes the shot darker or brighter than what the camera was actually producing. By the way, do you love those silhouette shots? Underexposure is a technique that can produce these kind of beautiful images. Also, have you wondered why would anyone use positive exposure compensation? I use it all the time in the polar regions where there's a lot of ice and snow. The camera gets fooled by the whites and it thinks it's overexposing and often produces shots with a gray tone on the ice or snow because it uses a faster shutter speed than what's actually needed. 
That's when using the positive exposure compensation will tell the camera to reduce the shutter speed a little and allow the whites to be rendered as whites. Here's another example of a leopard I shot in Africa. She was climbing up the tree and on aperture priority mode, I made the first shot without any exposure compensation. Quickly, I noticed the background is too bright as the leopard was in shade. So I quickly underexposed by three stops and the final result is this. Hope you like the silhouette. So guys, I hope you'll befriend this amazing technique which I use all the time in the field to override the camera's meter and get results I want. Do let me know if there's any doubt or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help.